Hi all, this uh, video is just on how to access the, uh, the templates as well as to uh, access additional course material if you're looking for it. Um, as you can see, I'm in a course right now, the Chem 30 course. Um, what I'm going to do to begin with is just go over here to the uh, Turn Editing On button. And then I'm going to scroll down to my blocks and I'm going to choose to add a um, Community Finder block. Community Finder is how we access additional um, templates and other object repositories. So in a moment that pops up and as soon as you have your Community Finder block on there I can just go and hit search. Uh, that step by the way you only have to do once per course. Uh, once it's there you can continuously go back to it to add content or uh, or even to contribute. So if I click search, it'll take me to a screen that uh, looks like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and push show all hubs. And I'm just going to choose the FSD Moodle hub, which right now is the only one showing there. Um, I will make a point of adding the uh, provincial hub as well for you. And then, uh, to find your template, you simply have to go into uh, keywords and um, type your search term. So in this case I'm looking for the UBD template, so I'm just going to type UBD and hit search and in a moment you'll see the results of your search, which in this case is just one result for the UBD course template. Um, there are however all of the other templates we have archived including uh, any courseware, so if I wanted to just go to English Language Arts I could just type English into my search term and all of the English templates will show up. So again I'm going to be adding the UBD template so I'm going to go into UBD and once I'm there I can actually just go over to the uh, uh, right hand side and just push the install button. Once I've done that, I'll get my little warning and uh, I will hit return or restore the course. It'll give me a list of what the contents of that template contain. Um, and then I just have to push uh, continue. Um, I'm going to choose, because I'm adding this to... Um, um, an existing course, I'm going to restore into this course, I'm going to choose to merge with this course. I don't want to delete it because deleting it will uh, overwrite what's already there. So I'll click uh, continue. Uh, this template, by the way, that I'm using um, has four blocks, but you'll be able to copy those. I'll hit next on this screen. Um, it'll give me the overlay of what's in there. And you can pick and choose individual objects in here. Right now I'm setting as default to import everything, but I don't have to. If I want to just import, say, one unit or just one object, um, I only have to put the check mark on for that object. So I'll hit next. It'll take me to my final uh, screen, which will tell me what I've selected. Um, and I'm just going to push the Perform Restore at the bottom. And momentarily, you'll see a screen that says uh, this course was successfully record or restored. So I'll go and hit continue, and it'll take me back to my course. Now, anything that I've imported will show up at the bottom of each individual block. So you'll see, as well as the chemistry content, now I have this class chat room and student lounge that have appeared. Um, you'll see that my UBD template has imported at the top and uh, that my unit overview is here. Um, this will work as I said for any uh, import that you're looking for. Um, if you have any questions as always give me a shout.